everyone it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel I know I've been away for a little while it's just really really busy and I just can't keep up with my channel but of course I want to share as much as I can with you and today I have a really exciting new products especially I'm excited about this new this bound art journal from Joggles it is a black one which is really cool all the pages are black and they're very thick and they hold mixed media really really well and I already bound mine over here but I'm gonna work on just one page and you know how much I love these journals because you can just basically remove them out and work on one page separately and that is great because that way you can work flat on a flat surface and you don't have a problem with you know adding mixed media on it now I have to say it's a really thick page it's really nice I love the feel I haven't worked on it yet but I'm really excited to try them so I'm going to put this journal aside and I'm going to work just with this one on this other side I have some Dina Wakely collage paper media and I'm just so excited to use it I also just got this there's some collage words there is some tissue papers like just basically designs and then there is the faces Dina Wakely's faces now what's nice about these and you can't tell from right here is that you see how it comes with the black prints well it also comes with white prints and you can see them all right here all of them come with white ones as well so they are perfect for black pages so I'm gonna try it out I haven't tried this before and I'm really excited to start up so I am going to basically pick a couple things that I want to work with so I took them out of the packaging and when I put them on the black background the white ones were not as stark as I thought they would be if you can see you can see them but not like so well but I really thought that I am going to go with one of the black images the black prints and then use the white ones for these ones so I thought to go with these ones over here to create some texture and just use this one I might try it next time again I I'm playing around with things so I don't know what I want to do I'm kind of just all over the place in this sense I like this package as well because it also has words and it's just really nice saying so I do have the collage words that are here and it has a lot of beautiful things but this one I love as well so I'm going to pick what I said these two things and I might go back and forth and pick other ones I don't know this is I always play around with things but in the meantime this is what I'm gonna go for and add some media to it as well so I'm gonna put this white one aside because I want to first add the face and I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to use and I'm thinking I want to use this one and kind of cut it around I really love this one as the most iconic one I think it's on all the packaging so I really love that one as well I actually can't make a decision to tell you the truth but I think this is kind of cool I really like that and I'm actually gonna cut around a little bit just to just to have the image a little bit more defined okay there we go so when it goes here will be straight so I think maybe up here in the corner will be perfect for that there we go okay so that's perfect I'm gonna just cut this around and then I'm just gonna use it like this okay so now that I have this done this will be my my the face on my background and I'm gonna use a little bit of soft matte gel to just glue this You have to be very careful with the tissue paper tissue paper obviously is very thin and tends to rip so you have to be very careful with it so I'm just gently pressing and sealing it this way you could also use a paintbrush for that 
what I like about the gel, the matte gel is that it will dry matte so you will not see any shininess and it will dry clear and then once it dries I'm gonna cut around it and I can heat set it to make this go faster so I haven't worked a lot with black backgrounds and I just realized that I should have been maybe more careful with the gel because it does give a little bit of a streaking effect but I'm going to cover that I it's not a mistake I mean it's a mistake but it can be fixed with some black gesso but first I'm going to add some other things to this as well just because I want to kind of work with the design and I thought to use the icing paste from Prima this is the Finaber icing paste. I just love these so much. And I'm going to grab the couple colors that are like really called my name. And I just thought they would be fun to use. And I'm going to use a couple stencils to kind of um, have fun with them. I'm thinking to use this burst stencil and to just kind of add something to the face. I don't know. That's the idea that I have. Let's see if I can angle it in a good way. I love this burst stencil from Joggles and this will also hide things a little bit as well so it works both ways i guess so let's see i'm basically going i don't have an idea in mind when i'm creating today i just basically going with the flow and seeing what i can create hold on let's see i think this will be good like that so I'll be discovering things as I go. I really wanted to try these black backgrounds. So I just wasn't sure what to do. And I had lots of ideas. It had to be things that are metallics to use as mediums. So things like these icing paste, or I was thinking of the diamond paint that I haven't used in a while. So that would have worked well as well. Oh, oh well, that's really, really cool. You see, I'm excited because things just turn out very cool without me even thinking about it. I don't think it needs anything else. Although it would be good to have it like kind of here, maybe going up a little bit. I don't know. So that's cool. I like that. I don't know. Oh yeah, I like that. So it just needs one more. And I'm trying to think if it needs it here or maybe at the top of the head. Let me wipe this off so it doesn't get messy. So I really love this stencil from Joggles. I've been using this a lot, even though you haven't seen that because I've been using it for other projects. But I've used it a couple times and I just love the bursts. There we go. I think this will be good for very, very cool. Oh, I love her already. Okay, good. So that is the lady here, lady in red, I want to call her. And I'm going to just clean up my stencil and continue on. So I went ahead and cut out a few of these circles that are more of the white print. And I thought I could add them as accents on my background. So basically, just to add them across over here. One, two, and three. And then one, some maybe over here. Just to kind of add a little bit of... Um, basically add something in a different direction. So it kind of centers the face a little bit. It just makes it look a little bit different but this time i'm going to use a paintbrush to glue them and i'm going to be very careful not to get everywhere around to get some around because i really want to make sure that it stays clean that the images stay clean as much as i can i do think that eventually this will disappear once it fully dries but i just don't want to take any chances you can also Add it on the back of the thing and then that way you don't miss. Finally, I want to add a little bit more accent with this stencil. It's also a joggle stencil. It's called Bubble Blast. And I'm just going to add a few bubbles kind of going above 
using another color from the icing paste this is instead of that other copper one i think i'm going to use the vintage gold because i love using gold and i'm just going to add a little bit of circles here and there like not too much kind of want to be careful with adding too many things because then it becomes too busy so just to balance things out a little bit with the colors would be it's nice to do so like that that looks really cool and then here a bit on the side as well so let me turn this around so i can work with it easier and one more of the little circles so i'm trying to find an area where the circles will work okay so there we go i'm kind of leaving this space empty over here although it just got stained a little bit because i wanted to add the um, sentiment over there so what you saw is that i actually work with things so now they're all kind of covered so you can't really see the the mistakes that i made so you can always cover in, in things with different mediums and help the mistakes that you do i'm thinking to just add a little bit of gold over here Kind of like make this a bit golden not too much because i don't want to get rid of the red but i just think that the gold color will help it a little bit and i'm kind of just oh, using it as a paint this paste i'm using it as a paint which you can do as well and i'm just going to because i made a mistake there I'm just going to add a little bit of the golden air back here so it helps with the movement going in this direction there we go so that's basically my background i want to dry this up because to see what else i want to add to this I find it a little bit more difficult to work with black backgrounds. I think most people might find that just because you're working in reverse. Usually I like adding black as a an accent and now I'm doing it backwards. But I am going to grab my footer ball pen, which is a black pen, and I'm going to kind of doodle around some of the things here just to kind of tie things in. I think that will help kind of tie it all in you can doodle you can do different things with it I love it because it goes on all mixed media and of course I'm always linking everything below in the description area so you can see what I'm using but I just wanted to kind of add this okay that looks a little bit better you see because I'm trying to kind of hide all the lines I don't like when you can see the lines. Some people don't mind that, but I am very particular about that. I like when things kind of work well. And this is an unusual page that I've created. It's not my usual stuff. I do things way differently. So it is different than my usual, as you can see. And I feel like it's missing a color. I'm not sure which one, but it's missing something. And I am going to figure it out soon. I'm just trying to kind of work with it and see what is going to be missing here. So that looks very, very cool. I actually really like this page. But I feel like it's missing something. And I will figure it out. So I picked a saying from the other collage words hold up your light which i think is great but I, before i do that and stick it on i took a gelato this is a mint color 
it's kind of like um patina color i just wanted to kind of add a little bit of that patina color in the background i find it that it's kind of missing a little bit of i wanted to say blue but i think it's that minty color that i kind of want in some places so i'm going to kind of add it in places and the nice thing about gelatos is that you can work any with them anywhere so that is good and they blend really nicely with each other and i'm going to just kind of add in certain areas she's she's so different than the usual and i like this face but i kind of felt that she was getting lost there so I thought some turquoise or blue or aqua color would work well, which it does. And I really like it this way. So there we go. I mean, this is a really unusual page, not one that I do usually, but I think she's kind of coming to light. I like it because of that. And the other thing that I wanted to add before I add everything else is a little bit of white splatters. This is the Ecoline white. And I thought to add some splatters in the background. So I'm just gonna dip it in here and then just bang it with a paintbrush. I think I'm going to just use this also to kind of create a border around here. You know how much I love borders. So instead of doing black borders, which I usually do with the white pages, obviously the black needs a white border to kind of make it stand out. And now I'm going to dry this. I'm going to glue the sentiment. So I cut the sentiment with scissors. And then I'm just going to grab my soft gel again and just glue it to the background. I just want to make sure that it goes in the place where I want it. Hold up your light. So I really feel this is really important for me right now. First of all, the rays, the bursts look like rays of light. I really need uh, this right now, holding up my light, holding the light up so I don't get lost. I feel like I am too overwhelmed with so many things and I can't keep up with everything. So that's why I haven't had any videos lately. So I think this is pretty good for what I wanted to do. I really love how it turned out. It's very different from what I usually create, but it still has my style in it. So I could incorporate Dina's faces and kind of create my own thing and you know I like pages that are really full and just kind of create that feeling of an emotional connection to whoever sees them. So I hope I created that for you guys because I know I created this for myself. It's kind of an emotional outburst or a light that is just coming out of me. So all that's left to do is just basically putting this back in my journal. And it's so, so easy. I just pop it back in and now I have uh, an amazing page right in it that is perfect for me. It was, as I said, really emotional and I really love how it came out. So thank you. Thank you so much. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. If you create something that is inspired by this, please share it and hashtag me so I know and I can see it and comment on it. I love seeing everyone's work. If you want to be notified of all my videos or live streams, just click on the bell button right below my video and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day. Bye.